What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what modifications you should do first to your FRS, BRZ, or GT86. So let's get into this video. This is in no particular order or anything, just what I think you should do first. The first thing I think you should do to your car is tint. I was riding around Fishbowl for the longest time and I absolutely hated it because me personally, I'm just the type of person to not like when somebody's just staring at me in my car, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm driving, I when I have tint, I can just look over and I don't gotta worry about anyone like just like looking at me. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just, it bothers me when someone's looking at me while I'm driving. The next thing on the list is suspension. I have BC coilovers and I was, before I wrapped my car and everything, I was on my stock wheels and I only had suspension. That was like the first modification that I did. And it completely changed the whole look of the car, even though the car was completely stock. It just changed the whole look and I think it looked great, even on my stock wheels. My stock wheels are ugly as hell, like don't get me wrong, but the car looked 10 times better, lowered. And not only with the looks, you also get the handling, like you have a low, lower center of gravity, you can take corners better, and you have a stiffer ride and with aftermarket suspension you have a completely different driving experience when you get in your car and that's just one of the top things i say would be the first to get for your car next on the list and this is for all my manual drivers but that would be a aftermarket shift knob sadly i do not have a manual but if you were manual i'd say to go with an aftermarket shift knob because i know some are weighted and obviously that helps with shifting and stuff like that and that also coincides with a short throw shifter i'm just going to throw that in there um like i said before completely different driving experience and that's pretty much it and next on the list is an exhaust or even headers if you will um it just you can obviously you can hear it um to make it sound better and also it helps for when you shift because when obviously the louder the car you're going to hear the rpms go up and you'll know when to shift and so that'll help but i'm going to throw in a couple exhaust clips to kind of show you guys what my car sounds like because i know i don't really get like rarely any sound clips of my car but i'm going to throw those in now On top of exhaust I do recommend getting a tune because I, you know you can get the, the pop tune or whatever and be super loud but you can also gain quite a bit more horsepower with that and well I'm not tuned yet sadly but I will be in the future and then I'm gonna give you guys some some pops and bangs or whatever you know, like Alex used to um, with the tune and everything it's going to give you more horsepower, also being full bolt on, like with exhaust and headers and stuff like that. And intake, I don't have because for this car, it's the stock airbox is actually better. I've heard and read on forums and stuff. So it's actually better for me not to get an intake, but go full bolt on. Next on the list, I would go ahead and grab yourself a set of wheels. These are Workmeister S1 three piece. Um, I know they have a bunch of websites and stuff like that where you can get the correct specs for them and you can get the fitment that you want i got these because they are in a okay spec i got them from fitment industries but not only with the looks you can also get like i said before in the handling with suspension the wider wheel you get um the more grip you get and so that'll obviously help a lot if you're tracking the car drifting the car whatever you want to do and so that'll just help a lot. And I think that is one of the top modifications you should do next to suspension. And the last thing I think you should get is a body kit. Like me, I got obviously my side skirts, my front lip, and my rear spats, my duck bill, my roof spoiler. You can get all of these things and just honestly just make the car flow better. And like even if you want to throw in some carbon fiber you know um it just helps complement the car in a way 
and it just it just looks sick like like look at it like look how fucking sick that looks there's also a bunch of other things you can do besides the outside um you can do like whatever kind of build you're going for you can throw in like a, a roll cage you can do a quick release steering wheel you can do uh obviously bucket seats harnesses stuff like that to kind of match what kind of build you're going for but me personally i'm just a big stance guy so i'm just gonna leave it at that i might throw in a half cage because it looks cool i don't plan on tracking this car i'll i mean i'll swing a corner sometimes but you know i don't plan on actually making this a full-on drift car or anything so with that being said that is going to be the end of today's video let me know down in the comments below what modification you would do first and why but remember to like and subscribe hit that post notification bell so you get notified every time that we post and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace